Okay, guys, I'm back here on this 71 uh, Chevy truck that I got here uh, last week. Bought it from a friend of mine, and he was getting rid of it, and I thought, well, heck, I'll, I'll buy it. It was really cheap, or otherwise I couldn't have got it. If you know me, it had to be really cheap for me to get it. But what I've accomplished today, thanks to Corey over at Tim Dixon's at Gas Axe Chop Shop, I got me a door on it. Remember, if you watched the earlier video of this truck uh, last week, I uh, got the truck, didn't have a driver's side door. Now, I've got a driver's side door. and Boy, I'm real happy about it. Made the whole truck worth another $100. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It did make the truck look better. Anything, you know, it's like an improvement from what it was. Looks better than not having a door. But anyway, I got the insides mostly in the dry because it is wintertime here and a I kind of filmed the last video, or the first first video I done of this this week. It was pretty much dark, so I was kind of in a hurry. Been a lot of waspers in here over the years. I don't know how long it's been setting, but I'll try to get back here, I'm trying to keep from running over stuff so you can see the back end. But I got my door panel and some hood hinges, a steering box, some brake parts. Got my mirrors. And, of course, I got a lot of wasperness in this truck, so this thing's been sitting for a while. But this is dry, too, back in here. I like. I don't think I'll take this camper shell thing off, make sure it's latched. It does get windy here sometimes. And Anyway, this is just a little uh, update on, on this truck. I'm just real proud to have it. And I got those uh, other wheels I might put on it this spring, and uh might slap them hubcaps on it and i don't know i, I just as i said before i just kind of like old farm truck on street outlaws i hope y'all watch that every now and again that they got a truck like this with a big block chevy in it but this won't have no big block chevy it's just gonna have a uh, 350 or something like that in it whatever i can come up with 305 what whatever will run that's that's where i'm at on this old truck Anyway, I'm going to go, uh, hey, still got the Ripple's speaker in it. I didn't see that before. But uh, all I want to do, my expectations are low. All I want to do is get it up and running. Brakes, you know, fuel line, ga you know, gas line, you know, everything where you can start it and drive it. And that's pretty much it. I'm not going to fix, unless, I don't know, unless Tim has something real cheap that he can home make or something, that I'm not going to. Sorry, I should have told you I was shutting the door. Unless they can do something really, really cheap, I'm not going to fool with it. I'm just going to let it look like... I like that look where it's a, how is it running? Hey, you know this, my green truck, that uh, truck I call Big Turd, it's got the same uh, troubles this truck does as Big Turd did. You know, it's eat out right here. And Tim had to fix all that. Of course, they're bad right here in the corners rockers of course cab corners i'm going to see if tim i haven't asked him yet but it, this is a long time maybe this spring see if he'll maybe make me a little patch a little uh door skin on this uh, factory lock i'm not going to open it because i'm afraid i won't be able to shut it and winter time is here so but anyway I, I got me a grill as i said i need some headlight bezel uh yeah headlight bezels I need those. As long as I can just get it to run, you know, the lights work, stuff like that. You know, the rest of it, not real important to me. I just like the way it looks. I'm going to put them big old mirrors on it, I guess, and just have a good time with it. Let me know if you like the door being on it, if it looks better to you. As I said, my expectations are low. I'm on a poor man budget, so I, I can just do a little bit at a time. I'm not a full-blown uh, bank so i just do what i can when i can and so i was real fortunate by my buddy uh whalen to come up with a door for me and thanks a lot whalen i i didn't know where i was going to get one at all the junkyards around this area are pretty much tapped out so anyway i, I appreciate it thanks for watching and if you found this amusing or want to see what a poor man does with a old truck like this why just please subscribe leave a comment 
uh, share this with your friends. If you have pictures of Chevy long bed trucks like this, I'd like to see them just to get ideas. And I'm on Instagram, Primer is Best, all one word, and Facebook, Primer is Best. I'd like to give a big old shout out while I'm at it uh, to Chevy Land TV. If you get a chance to check them out, and uh, also give a big shout out to What's Mike Doing Today with two question marks. Uh, Chevy Land TV, he messes with little Hot Wheels and stuff, and I used to all the time, matchboxes and stuff. It's pretty neat to watch. I like to watch it. And what What's Mike Doing Today uh, with two question marks on YouTube. Please check him out. He's working on a 67 Chevy truck that I've, I'd love to have. I'd trade him this one for his. I'm just kidding, Mike. But anyway, he's got an interesting channel. He cooks some stuff. He made something of frog, frog eye salad. It doesn't sound too appetizing, but when he got done making it, it looked pretty dang good. So, anyway, let me know what you think about this. And I appreciate you watching the video and keeping up with me. And I hope y'all's having a great day, because I am. And I'll see you later.